my house is kind of special and with that it has a few leaks in the roof I mean metal roofs it's not that uncommon about 28 by 48 is the size of the house but the worst leak by far is clear back here around the standpipe so if I can do it without falling down in the slickness somewhere around there there's a pretty persistent leak that I can't get rid of in part because I have metal expanding a rubberized little piece of the boot expanding at a different rate with the heat and the roof coating expanding at still a different rate. With all that, water was getting in, and because of the slope of the roof, I couldn't really get in there and put a bucket in it to catch the spot where it was leaking. So I took a pan, uh, not a pan, I took a storage bin that's very shallow and is meant to go under a bed. And I scooched it over where the total height of the roof is the height of that board, which isn't very high. You can tell by my hand. There, that's about how high it is. <laughs> All right. So I have this hose running from under the roof where the under the bed storage tote is to out here and in order to drain it instead of trying to crawl through my attic like space that's very shallow and I would have to be down on my belly scooching over there I simply have to siphon the water that's currently in my attic out like so and little by little There we go. Little by little, out it comes. Ta-da! Appalachian engineering at its best. In through the leak. Into the pan. In my house up under there. Out the pan via siphon. And onto the ground. Hey, <laughs> hey.